Hi, I'm Josh Ledgard, and I'm one of the founders at Kickoff Labs. We're an audience growth platform, and in this demo, I'm going to walk through how to create a really simple waitlist campaign. So a pre-launch waitlist is where leads would move up in line by telling their friends and taking action. Let's walk through a really simple one here. So you can see I've got a landing page. In this case, it's a pre-launch for a mobile app. Let's just go see how this works. I'll sign up here um, and join the waitlist. And you can see I'm currently number one on the wait list. There's not much moving up for me, but we could keep my spot in line by adding my phone number, learning more about the product, watching a preview video, and you can see your stats here. And we've repeated the product features here on this page as well. So that's the really simple concept, of the wait list. Let's go and create one within Kickoff Labs. So after you create an account, the first thing we'll do is drop you off on the campaign creation screen. And I'm going to create my campaign called Waitlist Demo. There's lots of different launch campaign types, ranging from milestone rewards like the Harry's, uh, a basic waitlist for any sort of product, and some specialized ones like a Kickstarter waitlist, Indiegogo, or subscription box. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead because I know I'm launching a mobile app, and I'm going to pick the mobile app waitlist. And that's going to change some settings for me and some defaults. And then I get to choose some scoring. So do I want people to move up the wait list by actions and referrals, just actions, just referrals? Or maybe I'm just getting started and I want to do product validation. I don't want to manage a wait list. I just want to do no scoring. So I could choose that as well. I'm going to stick with the default of actions plus referrals and move on to the next step. Now, this is really important with Kickoff Labs. You can run the campaign as we're going to do in a landing page. But I could also have my own landing page and run it in a pop-up box. I could have my own landing page somewhere else and run it as an embedded box. I could have my own landing page with a form already built and run it as an any form campaign. And all of these are popular options, but by far the most popular for people just getting started is to use our landing page builder. So let's just start there. The next choice you'll get is asking whether you want to run it as a single page campaign, a landing page to a status page, or a landing page to a contest box. I'm going to pick landing page to status page so that everybody gets a place so they can always go back to and check their campaign status without having to sign up again. Now, we've got three designs here. There's a lot more landing page designs within Kickoff Labs, and you can customize the page, and we'll get into it. And But let's just pick this first design here because it looks really short and simple. So this stage, the campaign is actually live. I could click on one of these pages, and I could do the same uh, demo that I did before and sign up for it, and I'll get taken to a status page. Uh, you can see there's some differences uh, in terms of the defaults. We show you the Play Store and App Store locations. Once you've created a campaign, we do have a more complete campaign getting started guide here. But let's just go through the basics here. So if I want to go edit the page, and let's just say I want to edit the form, and I want to also collect a first name for people that are signing up so I can reach out to them more personally. So I can add a field, add the first name, add that form field, let's save it here. And now I've added the first name to the form here as well. Let's say I want to add some more information about the product. I want to add another feature section so we can add a whole library of sections here. And let's just go to some predefined feature sections here. And I'm just going to add this, uh, this three column one uh, with some icons. Uh, I'm not going to edit it in this video, but you could go ahead and edit all of this, uh, the color, the text, the copy. And you can also drag and drop specific components to landing pages. So let's just say I want to go um, add content instead of a whole section. And I'm going to scroll down to some of the contest components here. And let's say I know what date my app is launching. So I'm going to drag a countdown element here uh, to the page and put it right below the form there. I could edit the date later, but now I've got a countdown counting down to my app launch date. Let's just go ahead and publish this page here. And if you reload it, you'll see that the page now has the form and the new section and uh, the countdown section on the page. After I've made those changes, you'll see it's running off a of kickoff pages domain. I could publish this page to my own domain. So it could be like myfantasticapp.ai as the page. I also go, I could embed this in another location. So I could just take this and embed the page that I've got somewhere else if I want to run the campaign that way. But let's just back to the basics thing and look at what else we can change here. So you'll notice those actions were in place where people can take to move up in line. So let's just go and edit those actions. So this is something that everybody's going to want to do is they're going to open the actions here. And I don't have a App Store link yet, so maybe I'll just delete this action. And go ahead and delete the other one too because I don't have it in either App Store at the moment. But let's say I want to get in touch with people a little better. I could actually add a new action, and this is pr something pretty unique. And let's say I want to add phone number. So in this case, somebody will be entering their phone number. 
after they've already signed up. So it's just a way for you to keep the initial form less intimidating, but encourage people who are interested to add their phone number in exchange for moving the wait list. So I've added action here. And it's at the bottom. Let's just move that action to the top here. Let's just go ahead and preview the status page. You'll see this has been updated now and it's got the phone number entry field here and the tell your friends link. I really like the tell your friends link. I wish that was expanded by default. So let's go ahead and expand that by default. So I can edit the, the thank you here as well. I can choose this and let's just expand that by default. We'll say we're done with this section. And down here, you've got numbers on this page. You could insert these in any location. This is just as simple as adding text fields. So these numbers will be replaced with the actual lead data. These numbers can be shown can be shown anywhere. It could be on the first page and you can show people how many of your people are already in line. These numbers could even be on the sign up page of your campaign and you could show people how many people have already signed up uh, for your campaign. I'm just going to keep it on the status page after people have signed up. So let's go ahead and publish this with that change that I made there. So let's talk about some other things we can do with the campaign. So you're going to want to make sure you stay in touch with people in the campaign so we can go in and edit the messaging. So we can send automatic reply emails when someone signs up. So I can choose to do that. You can edit the text here and we'll save the automatic reply message. A pretty common question is, can I add some existing leads to that number? There's two ways to do it. One, if you have leads, you can uh, import them under the leads tab. This is where everybody that signs up will live. And you could import existing people onto your wait list and they'll be imported to the position that you've added them. Another thing you can do if you don't have leads, but you want to make it look like you have some leads uh, that are there is you can use the fake leads jumpstart feature where you fake it till you make it. So if I click on this, I could choose a number of leads to add, and I can even give them a random number of points on the wait list so that they might be ahead of people who, who are signing up. We also have uh, integration, so you can push the leads that are signing up to a number of other sources, including Facebook audiences or Active Campaign or Clavio. We lie to put analytics and tracking codes on pages, and we also have advanced fraud protection to make sure that the leads signing up on your campaign are as real as possible. Last thing I want to Talk, touch on is that you can add milestone rewards. This campaign type didn't come with milestones that people can unlock as they sign up. You could add these to this campaign and you can add that UI element to the landing page. And I also want to point out that we do enable a contest box. So if you want to set this campaign up as a box optionally, even though I didn't set it up that way, you could modify this contest box with your app information. You can see I've still got the points and the rank on the contest and you could, it's the same activity feed here that I had before with the phone number and everything. I can modify all this and publish the campaign as a box that either is embedded somewhere or pops up on another landing page. I hope you've enjoyed the demo. Let me know if you've got any questions. You can always reach out at support at kickofflabs.com and we'd be happy to get back to you. Thanks, bye.